night college basketball here in San Diego, California. Tonight, a visit from a Pac-12 team as the UC San Diego Tritons look to beat the California Golden Bears for the second consecutive week. Well, welcome everybody inside Lion Tree Arena, courtside as always, alongside Martin Bahar. I am Steve Quiss, and the big question now becomes, can the Tritons beat the Cal Bears in back-to-back -back seasons? Can they get it done again here tonight? Huge opportunity tonight again for UC San Diego. They have a Pac-12 opponent yep. at home trying to get another win against the Cal Golden Bears. So before we go forward, let's take a look back to that November 9th of last season. And of course, the biggest win in the Division I era for the Tritons. They win by 13 on the road at Cal. It was a day game. Coach Olin getting the celebratory bath. And recall the particulars, if you will. Tony Rochak leading the way with 27. And then, of course, uh, you had a big game, too, by Bryce Pope with 18 points. And that helped kickstart the Tritons to a 4-0 start to begin that season. Now our players to watch. And as always, they're brought to you by UC San Diego Health. And again, we're focusing on the guards again here today. Devin Askew from Cal is averaging 18 points per game this year. He's a transfer from Texas, a modern-day kid from Southern California. He's off to a great start this season as a transfer. Bryce Pope from UC San Diego, 20 points per game, two rebounds per game, three assists per game, at 23 in the season opener against Seattle. He has taken his game to another level as a junior and has been off to a terrific start. Rims, he shot here every day for the last three plus years. He's practiced, he's worked on his game, he's had his best game of the season. Mark Fox is gonna call timeout here. But you know, when you put in all that work, all off season, all summer, the late nights, you know your home rims better than anything. Bears up on the board have two timeouts left. The Tritons have one, and again, the possession arrow is pointing toward UC San Diego. Okay, so what Mark Fox is saying, we want a great shot no matter what right now, okay? Whether he makes the free throw or not. This isn't game winner time. You don't, if he makes the free throw, it doesn't have to be a three. If he misses the free throw, you take the best shot available. This possession is gonna be something he draws up, something they practice over and over and over again since September, and you wanna get the best shot possible out of that. I'm going to bet the ball's going to be in Devin Askew's hands no matter what happens after yeah. this free throw. Yep, Cal's leading score with 18 points a game. He's got 11 to tie Kwani Kwani for the team high. Teeman and Newell have 10 apiece. Bears have done a much better job from the floor in the second half. Shooting 50%. Seven of seven from the free throw line. And quite frankly, they've run the Tritons off the three-point line. Tritons had seven made threes in the first half. They have one in the second half. Well, that's discipline, that's scouting, that's trusting what you practiced and what you prepared for. Obviously, UC San Diego, nobody could have expected them to be that hot in the first yeah. half. Cal really dialed in. And Mark Fox is a heck of a defensive coach, so it's not surprising. They trusted their principles, and here they are in the game, down two right now. Tritons may very well have to win a basketball game without making a field goal in the last five plus minutes of the game. Could even be close to seven minutes without a field goal. They don't get one in the last 112 and still win it. Rockamore extends it out to a three point game at 61-58. Cal saves some seconds by kind of rolling it to half court. Very smart high IQ end of game situation there. It was an 18-point lead for the Tritons with 7.07 to go in the first half of play. They go to the double ball screen. Joel Brown, Brown again. Yep. Drives in and scores the bucket. 59.3 to go. That's exactly by design. They move the ball. They get the corner empty double side ball screen. Brown refuses it, and he goes to his weak hand again to finish. Bears have made four of their last five field goals. One point game, difference in the game clock and the shot clock is about 19 seconds. So you got plenty of time. Pope against Askew, the leaner too hard. Pursue. Trying to get the offensive board, he's got it. 
Polk was calling for it on the wing because he was open. You don't have to foul here. There's a nine-second differential. You're only down one if you're Cal. You don't have to foul. Pope pushes away, ask you. Five to shoot. This would be big. Pope, the three on its way. It's good! Oh! Time out with 10.6 to go. Unbelievable. <laughs> Bryce Pope just hit his fifth three-pointer of the night. Man. Crossover to his right. He's such a very good shooter off the bounce. This play, I have, I have goosebumps right now, and I'm not <laughs> even coaching because you just, you love to witness special moments. Okay, so Cal, yeah, um, unbelievable, look at that. The rotation, yeah. this kid's special. Contested, he's got 19 points. Remember he had oh my 18 God. Last year at Haas Pavilion, made four threes in that game. He's got five threes now. And I hope he doesn't become a professor and tries to get a job on the Berkeley campus. Because when he walks into the HR office, Man. they're going to say, you out of here. <laughs> I mean, now listen. Okay, Cal, you're down four points. There's almost 11 seconds, 10.6 on the clock. You, yes, you don't need a three right now. What you're probably going to see from Coach Fox here is some sort of action where he gets one of his guards downhill. If UC San Diego overhelps, sprints to help, they're going to try to kick it out, maybe get a weak side three or something behind the ball handler here. But if it's a wide open layup, you can still take it. You've got a fast guard. you got yeah. Askew. you got Brown. Okay, it doesn't have to be a three. You just want to get the quickest, best shot you can. They'll press on the backcourt, put a little pressure on here, make things difficult on Cal. The kid from nearby Torrey Pines High School might be the hero again tonight. Here comes the fastest kid on the court, Brown. Yep, Brown's got to hurry. Got Brown into the Askew. He's got the bucket with 4.9 to go, and then Cal will spend their final time out. Two-point game with 4.9. That's so smart by Coach Fox. You know, he's coached in five NCAA tournaments. He had his fastest guy taking the ball out of bounds so he could play catch with the guy he throws it to and then is on a full sprint down court. Askew makes a great cut. Look at this. Boom. Fastest guy on the court with Roddy Anderson. He pushes it, gets stuck, but then Askew cuts. Beautiful pass. And you have time. It's yeah. just under five seconds. So let's reset now. There yep. are no timeouts remaining. Possession arrow pointing toward... You see San Diego, and the fouls are interesting now because Cal has committed seven. So you foul on the inbound, and that's yes. going to be a one-and-one. One, so you still give your chance some life here to get a lead late. For sure, and it's going to be one-and-one one no matter what. It's going to be a pressure free throw situation. What I'm interested in seeing right now, okay, so it looks like Cal's going to go big on and athletic on the ball. They're going to face guard or three-quarter down court here. I don't think they're going to try to trap it. I think the ball goes in. You're fouling. Five seconds left. Anderson Ball's can in, run the baseline. Foul. It goes into Rockamore. Yep. And so Jace will come back with 3.8 to go. The biggest one and one of his career. He's a perfect two for two from the free throw line. And the Tritons are nine for nine at the charity stripe tonight. Okay. Pressure free throws here. No timeouts either way. It's going to be a live ball off the miss. UC San Diego needs to be matched up right now, whether you're on the free throw line or not. If you're back, you're pointing, you're letting no one behind you, and if it's a miss here, you gotta be ready for a freight train, probably Joel Brown going full court. And he missed the first. Askew. Here's Askew, they got a chance to win it. Askew in the front court for the victory, puts it up, no good! And the Tritons have stunned Cal for the second straight year. Eric Olin's group does it again. Another huge win for the Big West Conference here in November. It's been a November to remember. Oh, man. Bryce Pope, the huge three with 10 point. Six seconds to go. Tritons hang on for the victory in front of the biggest crowd ever at Lion Tree Arena, and for that matter, ever on this campus. Just a special performance. It's a special performance because you played sensational in the first half. You didn't play great in the second half, but you kept grinding. You 
you stay tough, you stay resilient, and you got to win on your home court in front of the largest crowd in Lion Tree Arena history over a Pac-12 school. And you did it. You only made one field goal in the final six minutes of this game, but it was that Pope three, and it was all you needed to beat the Cal Bears for the second consecutive year. The Bears dropped to 0-3, and the Tritons will go on a long, month-long road trip.